Liverpool have been long-term admirers of Barcelona star Ansu Fati, and now they've been given the opportunity to sign the wanted kid at a ridiculously low price, compared to his release clause. Fati burst into the limelight as a 16 years old from Barcelona's La Masia setup, becoming the youngest goal scorer in the Champions League history at the age of 17 years and 40 days after netting against Inter Milan at the San Siro. Still just 20 years of age, he took the number 10 shirt from Lionel Messi after the flail left Catalonia and he is regarded as one of the most exciting young players on earth. In October 2021, Fatih ended speculation over his future and committed to long-term Camp Nou extension with the billion euro release close, opens in your tab. Yet the precocious Spaniard could still be leaving La Liga this summer, and there are plenty of sitters interested. According to Spanish outlet, Sport opens in new tabs. Ansu Fati could be available for just 53 million parceling, some 947 million parceling cheaper than his release close. No less, with Barca president John Laporta admitting that the sale of one of his attackers is perhaps necessary due to the club's precarious financial position. We cannot rule out the sale of an attacking player in the summer, he said. When Memphis Depay left us, we could have signed a forward, but the economic reality is very difficult and we can rule out the sale of an attacker. Talksport opens a new tab claimed last month that Fatih's representatives have held talks with Liverpool. Manchester United and Arsenal offer a move, though the Reds feel like the most likely of the three. United have Marcus Rashford as the beast at left wing with the likes of Alejandro Garnacho, Anthony, and Jadon Sanko as options out wide. While Arsenal have Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Martinelli, and Bukayo Saka as their first choice attack with Leandro Trossard, Adi Nectia, Emil Smetro, and Ray Nelson in reserve. Liverpool are losing Roberto Firmino this summer, leaving them with Mohamed Salah, Cody Gagpo, Darwin Nunes, Luis Diaz, and Diego Jota. With the latter two having injury flu campaigns, Fatih could well provide ample cover across the front line. The only issue might be with Fatih's own injury setbacks. The Spaniard has suffered serious knee injuries for the last couple of seasons and hasn't returned to being the same player at that he was. Whoever signs Fatih would have to offer patience in his development. Till I get up, time is barely on our side